And as the convoy approaches the welcome shores of home, a reception flight of British fighters wings out to meet them. The Norwegian campaign has of course kept the Royal Navy pretty busy, and the Navy has done a grand job of work, convoying the Norway troops and keeping the North Sea open to our ships despite the menace of Nazi air power. As usual, a great deal of work has fallen on the destroyers, which have been steaming day after day in all weather. Big ships too, not least the fleet air arm, some of whose exploits have already been reported. Our aircraft carriers have taken a prominent place in the severe fighting that has been going on at sea in recent weeks. Gloucester gladiators have done great work in the air. We have recently been told of some of their successes. Movietone took this impression of the captain and commander in a battleship during one of those naval occasions in the North Sea, which, though not reported, are nevertheless helping to protect this country. Aircraft carriers are the favourite ships of Dr. Goebbels. I'm sure if he could see this picture, he just wouldn't believe it. He's so often sunk them before. Very much afloat were these warships on that squally day when our cameramen took note of skewers and other planes taking off on reconnaissance. And every man on watch throughout the squadron kept a keen lookout for enemy planes. They watched British machines flying overhead, and then suddenly an attack from Nazi planes was launched, and they leapt into action. These are the first pictures in history of a bombing attack on aircraft carriers. This is reality, film taken in the course of battle. Guns blazing away at the planes, bombs falling. That was just one of the fights of recent weeks when the Nazis claimed to have sunk half a dozen ships but actually hit none. An illustration taken on the spot of the Nazi menace, but also an illustration of the skill and courage of the Royal Navy.